Well, our passionate hope is to be exceptional academically and vibrantly Christian at the same time. There are few academic institutions in the whole country that aspire to this. Fewer still who are able to do it. Hope has the resolve to be this kind of institution. The capital campaign has two very important dimensions. First, there is an endowment component that will increase our student scholarships and make hope more accessible for talented young women and men. Secondly, it will enhance faculty resources that will enable faculty and students to work collaboratively together on undergraduate research. And in addition, there are several uh, initiatives with building projects that will enable students and faculty to perform at the very highest levels. A chief among these, perhaps, is what this campaign will do for the arts. We're very hopeful that this campaign will do for the arts what the A. Paul Scott Science Center did for science and what the DeVos Fieldhouse did for intercollegiate sport. HOPE has a very rigorous academic program, one of national reputation. We intend to enhance that dimension of the college even as we strengthen what we do from a spiritual dimension. I think one of the things it means to be a world Christian is that we continue to press in and learn about who God is. And the more we learn about a God that loves and redeems the world, it, it means that we can study and engage the world with confidence. Hope College exists to learn and love this world. And so whether it's in chapel or the classroom or our residence hall, we are meaning to say that we are trying to love God in all of our life. And that's what it means to be a world Christian. The relationships, not only walking out of the doors of Dimnit, but walking into the cafeteria together, walking into the dorms together, that you worship with these people and then you study with these people. And that makes worship so much richer and that makes studying so much richer. It's important for Hope to become a continuously more diverse institution because it's in the mission statement. It wants its students to be global citizens and to be prepared for the world. And part of that is reflecting the makeup of the world. And the first step of that is being part of that change. There's no other small liberal arts colleges, predominantly undergraduate institution, that have the size of and scope of research program as Hope College. With 180 students doing research, with about 60 professors in the sciences, you add another 40 or so in the humanities and social sciences and the arts. We have essentially a group of people doing research that is really unmatched. Unique research opportunities at HOPE and the opportunity to interact so closely with the faculty in doing that research has really prepared me excellently for graduate school and beyond. The value for students is that, first of all, they work in close uh, rapport with a faculty. They get to know the faculty in a mentoring one-on-one -on -one relationship. Uh, which will be very valuable for the time when they need letters of recommendation. You know, these are the kind of faculty uh, we have recruited who could be at any of these top institutions where they don't really have to work with undergraduate students, but they chose to be at a place like this. So this is in their DNA, if you will. They want to work with students, and here's an opportunity. Very, very empowering. Tremendous responsibility in the college part. If we recruit this faculty, we're going to provide them with support. We're going to have to provide them with laboratories or field opportunities so they can do the research. We, can all, we must also provide them monetary support as well as time so that they can do this work with the students, which is so important in the mission of the college. To be able to receive a scholarship really immediately brings me into the HOPE community and stretches me from the people that are here now um, to all the HOPE alumni, all the people who have influenced HOPE in the past. And really it is what allows me to be a part of HOPE myself. Um, to be able to receive a scholarship is really one of the main reasons I'm able to come here. And so to connect you to the HOPE community that has been since 1866 is really what a scholarship has done for me.
an acoustically excellent concert hall is extremely important. It's extremely important for the listener because ultimately music is, a, is about hearing and about listening to music. We will have a much better visual aesthetic as well in this space, but the acoustics for the listener in the hall will be unbelievable. But important from an educational standpoint, our students will be able to hear better on stage as well. It works both ways. You have the acoustics in the hall and you have the acoustics on stage. We're lacking both at this point. So this is both an artistic uh, um, decision and a pedagogical decision that will, will benefit our students. Hope already offers so much and its professors um, and, and the opportunities that they give you to perform um, and the dynamic relationships that you have as an artist. All of that foundation is already set and the excellence and the quality is already there and this new building would really just be like the icing on the cake, really providing a context and a tool in which to use um, what is already an excellent program. We're um, probably constricted probably by access and visibility more than anything else with the Dupree facility. Uh, there's only about uh, 1,900 square feet of exhibition space. So that uh, severely limits the size and scope of exhibits that we can bring in. And with a, with a new uh, Kreisinger Museum, we would significantly increase the space for visiting shows so that we could accommodate much more significant, much larger shows. To have a structure that has, whose sole purpose is dedicated to the display of important works of art uh, would really, I think, say that art is valued on this campus, it's valued in, in the community, and that it has an important role in the educational process. There was a lot of conversation about where the Student Center goes, but there really was only one answer to that, and that's where it's going to be placed, in the old Nykirk location, because that space is the essence of Hope College. It's connecting the intellect and graves, Dimnit Chapel with the Christian faith, and now the student life experience together in one place. It is the only place for this new student center and it's going to provide that great whole place to be. When I think of a new student center at Hope, I really think of a centralized place on campus. I think of a place where students will always be and any student will feel comfortable, any student will know people there, uh, where the student groups can collaborate, uh, their offices will be together, things like that. Uh, all of that will happen with the new student center and that's why it's so important. So just knowing that someone else had an experience at Hope that made them want to give back and keep that experience going with some other student um, kind of clued me in that this was a really special place. We have before us a tremendous opportunity made possible by the very generous support of several lead donors. There is an urgency about this campaign. And so today, I ask all of you to join Marty and me in supporting the college we love, helping to make better what already is very good at Hope.